I, I, I tend to start by looking at what went wrong the previous day. I don't necessarily know, I don't really know where I'm going to end. I, I, I start without, without an intention, I suppose. The thing I might think about is which brush, because I have, at any given time, I may be using four different categories of brush, not just in size, but they do very different things. I have palettes arranged in a certain way, and it looks probably very messy, because they all have a point, all the pigments have a point. The fluidity of watercolour that's, that's wonderful. What you aim for in watercolour and all sorts of painting is to make it look um, smart and effortless and relaxed and not thought about too much. I will start very often a watercolour on the wall, so it's vertical, which mean, which is, you think is mad because the water was running down, but it seems to work. And then I would sometimes have it on the floor where you sometimes simply drop paint on it. But you've got to be decisive in what you're doing because you, you've got to go with it. You can't ask it to do things and change your mind or something like that. You've just got to watch it very carefully. I very rarely would spend more than a minute, you know, on the watercolour. Maybe a lot of time thinking about it. How do you know if a picture's finished, which is a killer question. It's when it's, it disobeys or it looks different to what you, you wanted to do, or you surprise yourself in some way. How can you not paint experimentally with watercolour? I mean, I think the adventure is not knowing what you're doing. I'm James Fall Walker. I'm a painter here.